Calvin's next up in Clearwater, and he's on 98.7. Hey, Cal. Hey, how you doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm just fine. I want to go back to your little cute story about uh, Donovan McNabb. Yeah. And, and players making money from jersey sales. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a lawyer, nor have I ever played one on TV, but I would think I could find a lawyer that would prove that a jersey that has team colors on it, a team name on it, a number on it, but no name, the school is selling the university, not the player. Yeah, I would agree. And that's why this Jay Billis story is significant because Billis goes on the NCAA's store, online store, and types in their search, Johnny Manziel. And in their store, it pulls up Manziel jerseys, number two, Texas A&M. It pulls up Clowney jerseys when you type in Clowney, but of course their name's not on it. And the NCAA makes money, but the, but the players don't. And my, my story was when I attended Syracuse, it was in the days of Donovan McNabb, and if you went into the school store, there was one football jersey you could buy, number five, and that was clearly McNabb. But he wasn't seeing a dime of that because he didn't have his name on the back, what have you. But I disagree with that. Why? That it's clearly McNabb. Well, Is he the only player in the, in the history of Syracuse football that ever wore number five? Well, when you go I mean, on... Stephen Campbell wore right. number two... Just like Manziel did. Yeah, well, if Cal, I'm Stephen Cal. Campbell, I'm saying, where's my money? That's right. my jersey. That's right. not Manziel's jersey. Well, hang That's on. That's my jersey. Cal, hang on. You're going a little off the rails on me. Number one. No, you're off the rails. No, I'm talking to you. Your argument is ridiculous. Well, I'm talking to you, and you don't want to hear anything. You're just arguing over me. You want to talk about this or not? Well, you're talking over me. No, I didn't. All right, now let's sit here, and you're breathing very, very heavily here, so just relax. Oh, and what about Donovan McNabb? What if he goes broke? And somewhere down the line, Cal, someone at Syracuse Cal. wears number five yeah, Cal. and is bigger than Donovan. Is Donovan now going to say, hey, that's my number five? Do we want to have a conversation? If, I, just was want Don- to... if I was Donovan McNabb, I would say, where's my money? Do you want to breathe heavy like this is a sex line, a phone line, or do you just want to talk about this? I'm not breathing heavy. So maybe you should work on a sex line because you know nothing about sports. <laughs> oh. Let's do this. You're choking on your show right now. Let's do choking. <laughs> All right. Can we can we get back to the topic at hand? You're going to be fired, so let's do, hey, you're fired. <laughs> well, you could be right about that. I'm but... out. Goodbye. Ah, the goodbye guy. And we have a winner. That's the I'm out goodbye guy. That's him. How did we not know this? Guys, when he jumped on the phones, did you know he was the peace I'm out guy? Peace. I'm out. Which is where we got that I'm out bye, in which you can't end a conversation with I'm out bye. You got to just end it with I'm out. Did we know it the same guy? Slipped right under my detection radar. Oh, my goodness. How do we? How did we not know? I'm out. Bye. I mean, it's the same guy. Man, I thought I had called a sex line. One nine hundred number. One nine hundred mothership. Johnny Vanzel. Donovan McNabb. Are you getting turned on? You're coughing. <laughs> Do you want to talk about jerseys? Maybe jerseys coming off? <laughs> want to talk about clothing being sold? I'm out. Bye. I'm out. Bye. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> Calvin! I'm out. Bye. Once you say I'm out, you just got to be out. You can't say bye after that. That's the whole point of the, I'm out. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> You're the nominee for the epic fail of the day. That guy. I'm out. Bye. You're the nominee for the epic fail of the day. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. Your nice little cute little story. I'm out. Bye. You're the nominee for the epic fail of the day. You want to talk more about Jersey? Jersey sales? Johnny Manziel? Yeah. I'm out. 
Bye. Imagine telling the chick on the other end of the sex line, I'm out, bye. <laughs> Wait, we need your credit card number first. I'm out, bye. <sighs> 855-212-4CBS, 855-212-4227. All right. She's a bad girl, David. You're the nominee for the epic fail of the day. All right. <laughs> so let's reset this show. Let's get back on track because if I went to the phones now, we couldn't have a serious conversation after Calvin. Couldn't do it. So you know what? I'm going to reset. Take a, yes, breather, and come back with you guys on the flip. 855-212-4CBS, 855-212-4227. You can always tweet at me as well, DA on CBS. <laughs> and remember, when you say, I'm out, never followed it up with, bye. I'm out, bye.